Okay, yo, what's up, Moss? Ah, uh, what's good, bro? Ah, next, Can next. Can you hear yeah. me also? Yeah, lunch. Right. Uh, did you check the the Pirates and Celtics game? Uh, the Pirates and Celtics game. Nah, nah, I didn't. But but I saw like a, a bit of clips, I, and I also saw the 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 alleged penalty. What did you think about the penalty, man? Ah, uh, bro, it was outside the ball, okay? <laughs> Straight up, the Pirates fan. That was outside. That was outside, like the first point of contact, Ganja box. So uh, has exactly. it has it been out? But okay, let's. That was start. outside the balls. Mm. Like okay, so when the game starts, right? Uh, it's about let's say ten to first 10 15 minutes right so the game is playing right and celtics are yeah, u- sure. are using uh their left back and uh like they mostly attacking on the left side because uh because the coach is stupid right uh he's playing against the low block sure. team right no i'm, I'm telling you sure. like his his tactics were wrong he, uh celtics were Basically, it was they played two blocks, right? A block of four and a block of five, and then they only had one striker standing up there. So if you're gonna have two holding midfielders, how are you going to break them down? So whenever Pirates tried to play through, and then uh, Celtics would take the ball, go counter, and then it was dangerous. But Celtics never got the goal from uh, the counter, so it was just like my banner just hit a. F- so someone, uh, it was a counter. It was a free kick, if I'm not mistaken, right? And then Mabena hits it from like long range. Do keeper just hits it over the post? Okay, it's a, a cross comes in, and then so after that cross comes in, first header they lose. Right, for that goal, for that Paris goal, I blame Mayela and Makarinke. Makarinke's positioning is wrong. Sure, sure. He should have been. Uh, he should have been more inside and more inclined because he was never going to stop anything from. Like the first time he goes into the right position, he blocks uh, the uh, the side so that he blocks the far post because the ball went to the far post. He blocks that, so now he's supposed to come in and back on like to to play a player offside, but he doesn't do that. He stays there and you're not going to affect the game. I, you, I have affected game luck. Like, so, and then Mayela, I also blame Mayela because we am she, he leave, literally leaves him for like, there's acres of space. And then, sure, sure. It's probably, so yeah, when they probably lose ball that, watching. Yeah, he was. And he was <laughs> And he shoots it, it goes in. Okay. So, yeah. So now they carry on playing. Monare gets injured, which I thank God that happened. Okay. Like, I'm not happy that someone got injured on the field. I'm not here. Sure, I get you. I get you. It forced the coach to make changes a change. Changes needed. The change that was changes needed. needed. So, got change changes here. needed. The, the coach now makes a smart decision because Celtic are playing, a, I told you, two blocks, right? A block of four at two the blocks, back, yeah. And then five sure. in the midfield. And the five. And one. Five the in one the is and one. there. My banner is there, up there, all by himself. So because Celtic's basically said he the wing, like, I'm a wing, like, I'm a midfielder, I'm a fish out. So he knows that he's be Uzulala Uzulala in count. So my Lala in count, you need short midfielders that are good with the ball and are nimble that can get away through like those small Anyana spaces. So that's how the coach was smart. But okay, so uh, Zen Power brings on uh, Lodge, which was actually a good thing. And then now Paris starts sure. playing, they start dominating. And then that goal, Kiplema and Futsi. Fuzzy, I would say, yo, 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 hey, I check it out. Is he, is he the one that pulled him? Yeah, but he, Fumbizai, yeah, Fumbizai. So, so tip guy, yeah, he he also made the first mistake for the first goal. So, Pirates is playing one, two in between. And so, how about Lala one, two? The ball goes to him first instead of clearing it. Pass. So by him doing that, 
he passes it to Hoto. Basically, like Hoto was coming on to it. He passes it to Hoto. Hoto scores it. And anyway, what Zimbabwe also got wrong was Hoto being on the left. Like, if you're a defender, would you be scared of uh, a front three of Hoto, uh, Lepasa, and Nto? Pule. Like, for no, combinations. Really. E- exactly. And especially against a low block. You need uh, sure. You need uh, players that can stretch and that can uh, to make sure that the defenders don't bomb forward. Like because Ngobeni and Baloi were bombing forward in the first twenty minutes, so about Kenya and Lodge. So now they had to deal with Lodge and Bully uh, on the different wings now, and they also different cut. wings. Yeah, sure. So now they're pushing them back and Hoto moving Hoto in the middle. Hoto can also play from the middle. So now he's going to play as an A-team and Makarin. Then you have Motwari holding as as the only one that's holding. Okay, so... Sure. That was, that was one of the smart things that the coach did in the entire match. That's how I feel. So then the match carries on and then... Uh, that dubious penalty, which give free kick. I don't like give free kick. I don't like give free kick. Should have bro. Like I, I even saw like uh, a guy posting a, a picture of the first contact, which was outside the box. Mm. Like it, it's really clear. And yeah, I don't think they should have given that as a penalty, eh? But they, they should have. I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know. This is one of the things that we think maybe VAR is also consider must be considered in South Africa because imagine that is a final, bro. Like that's the <laughs> MTN8 final, and people going back and looking to the uh, at that moment, it, it's painful, dog. It's painful. <laughs> but at the end, it's a penalty. They've given it. They scored okay. and they won. But do you, I'm a Paris fan. But do you think that was a red card though? Nah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it, it was the last, he was the last guy, right? He, he, he's the last guy, like, there's it's just ah, the keeper. It is, <laughs> ah, then it is. I go to the opportunity, it's done. I say, it's, it's exactly. a red card straight up. It's not a like, penalty, the last man, it's not a penalty, but it is a red card. Okay, the red card, I stand with it. Mm. Yeah, but what do you think of Le Passa? Do you think he's a, he's a proper center forward, fam? Le Passa. Um, for me, I haven't, I haven't really. He hasn't really satisfied my, my, my thirst of a, of a, of, a, of a right center forward. You understand? What's he missing? I think, but I, I think ish, he's not missing a lot. He's not missing a lot. I think he's getting there. Compared to your Makaringe. Makaringa is not a striker, do No, man. Kikim. What's this guy? Mahangu. 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 You okay. see Mahangu? Mm. Mahangu. Mahangu is something special. I won't lie. So that guy, I'm not a Pirates fan, but mm. I can tell you this. From the previous matches I've watched from Pirates playing, that guy has given me everything that I want in a striker, you know? Mm. Which is? And name, was, those, no, name those things. You should name them, man. Like, yeah, like, in terms of his runs, at mm. first, his uh, 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 way of creating space for himself. There's okay. a game I think he was playing against. I don't remember what he was playing against. The guy literally made, uh, he diverted a, a run mm-hmm. and made space for himself. Like he went this way and changed. And at the same time, being on, the, making sure that he's on side just to go back the other side and receive the ball the other side. Which, okay. which, other, which, which, which is which, which is another good thing. World-class really movement. World-class movement. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Something so, which was something that I was impressed with. Or, hey, do we really have this such kind of people that are playing for uh, uh, our local teams that can do such things? And which made, which made me think, worry very, very, that those are things that people or maybe Orlando Pirates uh, are practicing back uh, at the training grounds. And which is it gave me like a, a moment to think about like, yeah, that's pretty dope. But a lot of teams are missing that at the moment, like that X factor. But yeah, you know, we have your you have your your sundowns, which is which, which has uh, sundowns has special place. Also. <laughs> yeah, but but, but yeah, let's stick it, to it has special place. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, I was saying, 
um, who's who's Le Passa, right? Yeah, Le Passa. What's he lacking? Le Passa. What's he lacking? Like, um, I don't know. I think, I think it's 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 for me. It's the hunger, dog. I don't think it's enough. For me, I feel like uh, he's almost like a Jeru or Martial. Exactly. My my it's because the hunger. It's no the hunger for me. If you check Jeru, right? Makes mm-hmm. the entire team better. Because if you've checked Pirates this season, when sure. you more big pirates this season, if you've watched sure, it, sure, if, you, sure. if you're always watching it. But Lalang on with uh when when the Le, Le is playing nine, Marshall nine. Why? Because he presses, he does all the dirty work that Mohango isn't willing to do because what Zimbabwe wants is yeah, basically your exactly, European exactly. style of football. And what you exactly. get with Lepasa is he's a focal point, there's a proper number nine mute, so he can hold the ball up, his hold up play is very good, and he can pass the ball and those are runs. But the one thing that's lacking, goals. Goals. If sure. he can add goals to his game, he's, that, psh, he's yeah, that's a, that, I see. I, I see why you're saying is a, I see why you're saying is a, is a Jiru and my shell. I see what you're saying there. Yeah. They they lack those goals, but they're crucial factors to the game. To the team. To they make everyone around them better. And I think sometimes as you can have that as number nine, if you're gonna have goals in and around, that's why I think he had to bring on Uloch. If Uloch Angeni, then you're stuck with crappy player. Not with crappy player, I'm a player but with, with players that can't do their jobs. And for me, yeah, sure. obviously, so sure. far, I haven't been co- convinced was in, was in Bao. Because ish, although 13 matches unbeaten, okay, fine. Now, 13 matches unbeaten, Pirates, wara, wara, people are already saying, but he traveled another trouble on the way because the last trouble started because uh, MTN8 started the entire run. But uh, I'm, st- I'm still not convinced. We'll of- see. We'll no. see. We'll see. No, the thing is, uh, under Mitchell, we played beautiful football. You'd see. Now, it's it's not as appealing. Like, uh, you know, it's yeah, like you. those uh, Lama Pasnian, like, uh, we, uh, it no longer moves, like, seamlessly. Like, uh, Pirates no longer dominate the games as much. Although I think uh, this was a big moment for them as a team. So never snares. And, you know, sometimes finals are scrappy, really. Like uh, people aren't able to to produce sometimes so, because like it's a scrappy yeah, affair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And anyway, man, Celtic still played like uh, they still con- contain themselves. And Pirates, uh, after they scored the second goal, they're like, I- Peace, Joe. <laughs> we are the, yeah, yeah, well, it, it, yeah, sure, sure. It, it was it was all yeah. that. But now I, for this loss, literally for Celtics, I blame Fumbizai. That man made two errors that cost the team the entire game. Like, There's always Kosti. that guy. Bro. There's always that guy in a the game. There's always <laughs> that guy that in an important game. There's always a Gerard in a game where you really need the. <laughs> You really need the, the win. I'm slipping. Yeah, I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a Gerard, bro. Like in that moment when you know you need this, and you need this is what the team needs, not what the team wants. Pella, Pella Celtics needs needs that thing. Uti. Okay, we also also in it to win it, not to always be there and comfort other teams and say, okay, we made it to the finals. You understand? The, you know, so we, we always have to play and get something in return. Mm. But there's always that one player, bro. Always what that one player that's always going to mess it up. And it's not, it's not, it's not a thing, Guti, by Amtenga or, or Ini. It's, it's nature. The pressure might be too much for them to, hand, to handle and they just mess it up. Mm. Like, yo, yo, is it, is it Lebom Kuena? Yeah. Remember the, the, the World Cup? Mm. Yeah, like one more game with that, uh, it was... that king, that king, that king, um, that king moment where he was supposed to protect the ball or stop it from going over, but he, he decided to go uh, down and. Nizal Aaron, Nizal Mbaz, because I don't remember Cheese Boy going to the World Cup. 
Angelman by Mpin. That's his boy, the captain, dog. The captain. Aaron. Neil Aaron Mkwe, Nambazo. Aaron Mkwe, yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank you for the point of correction. But yeah, you see, there's always that one person. And, it, and I'm sure in his mind, he was just letting the good ball go over and starting fresh. But then, mm. you know, it ended up costing the team. Yeah, but you, you've got to read the game. Mas. That's the thing, bro. That's and anyway, thing. I feel like Zimbabwe making that uh, correction by putting those two... Uh, now I'm going back by putting uh, Lodge and going to get my Lodge and Vincent Pulley on the wings. It allowed them to no longer go in like for those counter attacks because they were attacking new style Holo and Nyawuz. Mm, they don't want. They don't want to go straight. They want to be yeah. more creative and yeah, I get it you. It wasn't that, you. and Nyawuz. It wasn't about just uh, lengthening like the size of the pitch. Nyawuza was getting exposed, like in the first 20 minutes, and Tony Potsan, he was going at sure, sure. Yeah, Nali Ngobin, they were going at sure. and they'd get one-on-ones lint, Li Nyawuza, Yusta would be there, so now it's almost like a, when in the transition. The coach is smart, the coach, the coach is smart, eh? The coach I, is smart. I, I give him that for, for making that change, like that's one of the first times I've seen him make like a proper, proper like change, change. When yeah, yeah, yeah. when they need a change, he made it. So I'm very happy, man. And did you check uh, the Chiefs match uh, during the week against Chip? Um, was it the one that they drew? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't check that one out. I didn't ah, check that out. Ah, you should have checked it out, right? So. Uh, I'll check. I'll check the highlights. I'll check the highlights. No, uh, let me give you like a short story. So, uh, where's the match, honey? So I'm watching sure. the match, Look, and then the commentator is like, ah, "This was a game of two halves." I'm like, ah, dude, were you watching the same match I was watching? Because it wasn't a game oh, yeah? of two halves. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Im- imagine because I'm watching this while I was watching UEFA, so I'm busy like switching back. Just switching, switching back yeah. yeah, I get you. Switching back and forth, but uh, maybe we can match. So the first goal he achieves uh, is Kunia's mistake, right? He's trying. Oh, yeah, that that one I saw there, there, there. That, when he's trying to he give a hit a diagonal, but he doesn't get the height. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that that I, mistake I saw. That mistake I saw. The second goal, did you see it? It was a cross. And then a uh, lack of communication between uh, the right back and uh, center back, because that's what literally messes the entire thing up. Because they don't communicate because that kid is supposed to tell uh, Mato, there's someone behind you. Like, everyone knows, especially back line. Exactly. I can't exactly. see what's back behind me. Be... I can't see what's behind me. Knows... You're behind yeah. me. If you can't get here, you have to tell me. And, and it's not like, dude, you can't say, ah, I was screaming, I, I said something, and, also, and, and no one could hear. Dude, the stadium is empty. So whatever I say, exactly. you can hear me. So You can hear. Exactly. You know, so, it goes back to which game. You know, it goes back to which game. It also goes to the the, the, the Man United game against uh, Red Bull. Yeah. You see the first goal, the first goal that Man United uh, uh, conceded, there was no communication there. Exactly. Mm. AWB was was <laughs> okay. Actually, they were, we were playing three, which is something that we are not comfortable with, right? I get that. Mm. But then, as I wing back, and you are running behind, uh, uh, who is this guy? Who was it? Maguire? No, no not Maguire. Was who this guy? Lin, uh, it was Lindelof, right? Was it? It was AW. No, it was. It, it was Lindelof, Maguire, and Luke Shaw. That's, that was the back three. Lindy. Lindy was the guy who was supposed to uh, uh, wake up um, AWB to, to watch his back, which is something that a lot of defenders, when they try new things, they don't communicate. No, but They never communicate, which is thing- something that we need to uh, fix as, as, as people that play football. Like They need to fix it. And also starts with the keeper, actually, to be honest, because he's the one that's always overseeing everything. So if 
okay, so basically if I, I, if me now could keep, so I'm supposed to do my job and I'm also supposed to do your job. Yes, so, uh, no, 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 Where's the lead? Where's the lead? There's a five. I, when I played defense, when I played defense, right? Four and five. Right. When I played four and five, it, it, it was always instilled with you guys have to communicate. That's what always communicate. I, I, you have to know line. Okay, is everyone in line? So where's I'm the leader in that back line? Exactly. I need piggies. Leadership is I important. Need piggies. I need piggies. Mm. I need piggies. Mm. But the, you must, must remember there's that there's that moment we are human beings, right? Mm. There's that moment of error. Now we are born with Iman. Mna nyiki pa. Labant lava ni pegi pola this side, right? And yabu ah intona e dream si na intona now we are born with Iman. Something is not right. Melo kulu me with Iba face asie. Uh, number four and five, I have a face as Clumain. You must have that. You must always, actually, as a keeper, you need to be vocal. Always remind your, 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 your four and five or the five, because the, the four is the guy who works for the five, right? He's the oldest guy. It's actually the one that's always overseeing. He's a, a left back, uh, also in right back, and also is four to, to, to clean up everything. And he's the guy that if they, you know, uh, Mess up. in chances of the ball, yeah, they, then he's the one who cleans up everything. So and, communication, actually, the point is just communication. Mm. And but actually, also, also the keeper needs to contribute. That's what I'm saying, though. Mm. Well, that's what I'm saying. The this also, also takes, needs to contribute. This also takes me back to uh, where we were discussing now in the final. Do you know that from this, I actually... Co- he he made that he made an error that led to him making that penalty. Do you know that? No, no, no. Because nah. the ball literally goes over uh, Lepasa and I don't know the other uh, four, like the other centre pick. They were going up for it, right? And the ball literally bounces in front of him. Like, he he lets the ball bounce, and first order like first rule of defending. Never ever let the never ball let the, bounce, never. especially on never. a skiddy surface. You never ever let the ball bounce. So if it bounces, you have to kick it, it immediately. Bounce. You have you have to kick it immediately. Otherwise, it will sharp because the ball bounced and I'm see And now what he he pulled he pulled the man and he got a red card. And and Nick Chikile analysis that thing when they were doing the rap. So right. So whilst they doing this wrap up, I get I was switching and I was also watching the derby. So I switched. I, I, I was checking that side. I get nearly half time. Got a, so I checked. I was like, no, uh, Celtics got confused because they played a long ball. I was like, ah, are these the analysts that we have? I mean, like, dude, like, it's now rocket science. <laughs> the ball literally bounces in front of this dude. Ah, uh, bro. Like, no. you need to, in the ball and then you can hear people no bounds they're always shouting no bounds and the ball is coming through no bounds but so do you, hey dog do you think footballers make better analysts though because like every time yeah, like i i, I, I hear and anal- like foot ex-footballers analyze the game of football i'm I, i'm always skeptical fam like they always miss like the really like like yo man remember when i was playing this is what it, I ain't trying to hear like sometimes I'm trying to hear that from like a perspective of like in the dressing room or whatnot of what you saw. But sometimes the errors are right there. And do just because like but sabat ba or like yo, this is my dude, or whatever, sabat lady favor, it's nyana. Like in in most in most cases it's that point whereby they they don't wanna tell them the truth. You know, I like Ruby King. Is it okay, Roy Roy. But Roy we have, we have our Keen. own Junior Canyon. Do you ever like? Yeah. No, but yeah, so he, he tells them, it like it is. Yeah, you need to be blunt, dog. You don't, 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 don't mince, things. don't mince, <laughs> don't mince your words. Dog, don't, don't like. I feel like a lot of them are being too soft because of they, they're also afraid of 
uh they just they just stopped playing right like it's not it's not long it, it hasn't been like that that long that they haven't been out of the game so a lot of those people are they're still their peers so mm-hmm. they're trying to still be like uh in a, a good relationship trying to keep it uh safe and not be trying to be mean and everything but the truth fact of the matter is if a person fucked up they fucked up you know mm-hmm. You need to be. You need to put it blunt. You need to put it out there so that they can also be better, and not repeat the same mistake that they did. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, them being like that, it's it's also killing the game. Also, mm. it's not helping them. Also, it's not. Well, yeah, and okay. This also reminds me of something. Like so, when I was telling you, I was watching that Chiefs match. So William Kett. To William Strong, I don't remember who. I think it's William Strong. I might be mistaken. Got voice and. Don't like call me on that. This is like after Chiefs matches, always like this game was a game of two halves. It was like what the fuck, man? This wasn't a game of two halves. Like literally, uh, one of the first times I've seen Chiefs like play play proper ball in the first half, and it went two goals behind just because of two mistakes, just because of that communi- bad communication, and even and the, the, yeah, and that Kune mistake. And sure. anyway, Kune needs to. But anyway, we're gonna discuss this some other time, man. We, we, we're gonna chop it up sure. like Scar. I'm gonna discuss that in another time. This like right now, I'm just trying to like for us to talk about these two games, and then yeah. So oh, yeah. what happens with um, even Gavin Hunt doesn't blame the youngster. Like everyone should be calling that youngster out, like fam. Why didn't you tell me? I think it was Zulu because I, Moleko was playing on the other side. So I think it was Zulu. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Zulu. He doesn't tell him at all. The coach doesn't say in that he protects him. I get it. You have to protect your younger players. He says it's the senior player's fault. Dude, if I can't oh, see what was what, behind he, he's some effort type of thing. He, he like know? when we defend with he was if he's if he's trying to blame someone you're supposed to say it's a defensive mistake so what do you think about godinho now nah, i'm not convinced okay let me let me let me first put my side i'm not convinced with godinho why i do that don is always getting pulled out of position every time i see godinho like like uh when i watched that match i watched him every time the strikers would pull him out of position pull him out and he gets sucked in so basically, he leaves you with the hole. So basically, now you're defending with three. Every time, he's getting sucked in. He's getting sucked in by movement. Is he- he's not handing players off to uh, his central defensive midfielders. And that Is thing- with, for me, for me with Codino, ne? I feel like, well, I'm not going to lie. I feel like he's a good ball player on the ball. He's, he's, mm. he's, 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 be- he's better than most. So I feel like, he has he always has the urge of I need to I need to be on the ball. I need to be on the ball, which is which is something that is that is that is that is taking him off of course, you know. And 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 I think it also goes with the with the coaches what they say. But I, I don't know, I don't know what they're telling them in those dressing rooms or whatever their tactics are. But yeah, you're right. He needs to change that. He needs to change that. And Focus on more on the defensive part, as a you know, as a collective, at most because I'm, I think he's trying to do almost everything by himself, and it's it's not helping the Chiefs. You know? Because every time I've seen that Chiefs back four, like or back five or whatever, it, it, it's always been, it always <laughs> looked like it was gonna lead goals. Okay, let me tell you about Njoba Mebala and the Pirates. He becomes an idiot, right? What I would have done, nah, I don't know. But Gavin Hunt did what he was doing. Okay. So you're playing a high line and none of your center backs are fast. That's that's risky, Imagine. man. Against what I would Imagine. have done. What what I would have done is what I've always advised for Ateta to do, right? You put in uh, the person that played right back, uh in Kenya right center back. Take a person that's played left uh left back put him at left center back and then you have a proper center back so now when you play a high line you know you have quick defenders so if they put the ball behind you you can always cope 
No, you can always you can always cope with the situation. But exactly, he does right. he he doesn't do that. If I was him, I would have put one of these young, younger players in beside uh, and then maybe Ramashim Pashet. Although he's not that lightning quick anymore, but he's still quick enough. He, he can still hold his own okay, in can, a, as a right center can, back. Can, exactly. And he'll be comfortable no. with being pulled out of position. But he was okay. Yeah, let me but, get back to it. Yeah, because yeah, because because I think this. No, I think it's gonna end up with the part worry. I thought Matoa's time there as a centre back and and always been been trusted as the person that's gonna uh, chase people. It, it's not helping. Like it's like it's, they've been passing him, dog. Like it's it's way over time. They need to change that. You know. But I think you're what right. I, what you're saying, I think, I think what you're saying is right. I think he could be a leader, or basically, if you're gonna play a person in the middle, it's either gonna be a sweeper and has to be good on the ball. Maybe you play Godinho, mm-hmm. but what Godinho has to learn is self restraint, not going in for every ball. Because I I played center back, so when you, when you play four and five, you guys have to be smart. You have to communicate, right? Yes, this one match right we were playing, and. My partner was getting smoked every time. Every time they played the ball, that's like he gets smoked. Right, I'm quick. It was like, okay, now you're getting smoked. So, look, you go forward whenever he comes in or anyone comes in. You do that. If the ball goes over us, I'm fetching the ball. Leave that. You're gonna cover the space that I leave in behind. Like, uh, if there's like a cutback or anything you are going to cover that. And it ended up working, right? Because we were like, I don't know, two or three went down. I don't remember. We came back, it was 3-3, three, three, had a penalty to win it. Okay, it was missed, but anyway. But it happened, though. No. Oh, sure, sure, no, sure. But, I get you. I get no, you. but it, like everything happened, though. Like it, it happened properly. Like everything was done to the T. So I don't know. Uh, so I... I, 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 I yeah, so I don't know how um, Godinho and Bomato like communication has always been the most key part of it being a defense, and there has to be a proper leader. Like uh, in that Chiefs backline, I don't see a lot of people saying, "Yo, this is the line. You come here." Like, I don't see anyone barking orders. Like um, I don't see anyone barking orders. There has to be a leader barking orders. You come here, you, you do this, you do that. There's no proper leader at the back. And without leaders, you're not going to win anything. You, you, you're not going to do anything. I'm not a Chiefs fan, but at least I want them to be competitive. You see? Exactly, bro. Like, there, there it's going to be, be boring after league. Mm. Yeah, it's you're not, right. You're right. There has to be a leader at the back. but And these two midfielders that they have, these young kids, they can play, right? Okay, Chiefs also got two lucky goals, man. Those goals. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't understand what Gavin Hunt was doing, right? Because in the entire yeah. first half, uh, who's this? Cut? It's Cardoso, right? The striker. It's Cardoso, right? The one that... Castro. 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 It's Castro. Castro. Yeah. The one that they took from Sundown. So... He was always finding himself out on the wing. I was like, this is stupid, man. That means it's either you have to change your formation or you have to tell him, stick within the box because he's tall enough and you're behind the match. So you need options because this dude, every time, like you have your striker crossing balls in. Like how stupid is that? Dude, you're the one that's supposed to be in the middle receiving these things. So at least you give us a chance of scoring a goal. But no, he's always out on the wing. Like, the coach has to fix that. You have to be within the poles every time because it's not like he's lightning quick. It's not like he's going to beat anyone. So you have to be within the post, uh, beat people with your movement and you know you're good in the air whereas uh, not a lot of people are good in the air and you're going to give us a chance of maybe scoring a goal or two and you're going to make it a bit scrappy in the box. Maybe you get a scrappy goal but he wasn't doing that. So I thought uh, yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah, Hunt... Yeah. Like, it's just small things like that, because uh, as a striker, you have to. Yeah, but you it. must remember, you must remember, there, there isn't much he can do at the moment because he only works with what he has. You know, 
most probably he's trying to do that, but then with the with the people he has, it's failing. Kama isn't bad. And, Kama is, and these kids can cross. The thing is, I was surprised with what he was doing because uh, these left backs and uh, these kids can actually put in beautiful crosses for him. I don't know what he was doing on the way. Like if, like let's say if you had no one that could cross to you. Then it's fine. Like you go there, but he he has a person that can cross, so it doesn't make sense. When you talk, so yo, yo, it 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 doesn't make yeah, sense. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have just ticked. Actually, he should have just ticked and played as a as a wall, you know, and trying to trying to be in in the boxes. Be patient, restrained, like you said. They need to be. They have to have restraint, which he. Shalandota, we need you there for your heading, for everything. Yeah, hey, man, and like, like fam, like I, I think like uh, it's, it's because I'm gonna go on a rant now. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to go on any rant, man. <laughs> okay, very fucking bad. I'm gonna do it. Mm. <laughs> what do you think about like our development, uh, like how we develop players, man? Ash, bro, uh, the development part, hey, it's it's quite tricky because uh, we don't really know the full story, but hearing from other people, it's not that easy, hey, because I can promise you this: in South Africa, we have a lot of talent, though. Mm. But why talent is, is galore? No, but talent is galore. Problem... We have we have people. We have people. Not even there at our, you see our school, man. Mm. Even the, especially our school. See mm. where our school is? Yeah. There's a lot of talent. And some of the people don't even play for the school. Yeah. They can't even make it into the mm. team of the school. Uh, uh, the, the reason being football politics, it's always been the thing. That's the thing. That's the one thing that is killing no, our... But... Okay. I, I promise you that. I get you. No, I no, can no. promise you that. I get you. I get you. Now you see, dude, you're gonna make me go on a rant. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. This, like, <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Uh, okay, I've always been talking like to uh, my brother about like, like we've always had this arguments like, yo, man, South African football is like, dude, our talent gets lost, and the problem is our development, like our development system is fucked up. Why yeah, we no longer true. like look at look at what rugby is true. always doing like rugby is always training out like like professional very excellent players why still have schools rugby like premier schools rugby where do you see premier schools soccer like do you see it televised on DSTV hell no why it's because like it's never been a focus like they have to bring back schools football like the last time we had like proper proper talent pro- like talent that there wasn't like when we had a national team that wasn't like more than 90 percent based in south africa like when we still had like a good national team it was like 2004 2005 like when we had strikers going out abroad and banging in goals so in south africa you'll never have a problem of chances being created for you your problem is you putting the ball in the back of the net why can't we find strikers why don't we have elite talent well it's because the development system sucks and it's because it, it literally has to be burnt down and be built from the ground up let me let Basically. me put it to you step by step you see Kune, right i told you i was gonna come back to Kune <laughs> with Kune, <laughs> like Kune is fat right now Sure, De- sure. Have you ever seen Buffon being fat? Do you see the hair being fat? No. Why? You're being paid a lot of money. You're gonna keep your body in shape. Like you, you first is discipline. You, you you've got to be disciplined enough. You gotta eat right. You gotta make sure you take care of your body. You gotta hire trainers. These guys ain't doing that. Like you, you how can you be fat as a professional soccer player? Like you play every dude, you're a professional, you get paid to play. How are you fat? How are you unfit to do your job? Dude, you deserve to be fired. I see this person, I see this person. I have legs, dog. I, legs, I'm bro. still getting started. Like I love South African football. The problem is me motherfuckers is missing it up every day. Secondly, um, legs, bro. Okay, so firstly, it was discipline, right? Secondly, it's ambition. 
<laughs> like oh, they yeah, don't have yeah, any yeah, hunger yeah. like no hunger whatsoever like all of these hey, mo- all of these more folks want to play in south africa like how many of them want to p- go play abroad in order for pesita to even go uh to like pesita can't even play in the epl why south africa like uh then bafani bafani isn't even in top in the top 50 of like fifa world rankings and that's the first requirement you have to be in the top 50 right yeah, i mean so. the top 50 hell no I so he no, can't play no, in the no, epl so he can't play in the epl why it, 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 like ambition like it, the, if more players have ambition then we, we we go uh to to a step further like these coaches aren't training these players properly like a lot of south african players like use one foot like where's the other foot like if like pule man pule can't use his right foot pule can't use his right foot lodge lodge can barely use his left foot even tau tau is mostly is is that one foot he can hardly he uses that other foot but i prefer that but like in our development system no one trains these players to use their other foot like Back in yeah, day, we man. need to we we need to be lost like Dembele. Hey? See how <laughs> Dembele doesn't even know which foot he he uses. Uh, uh, Greenwood, Gunwood, man. Uh, yeah, Gunwood. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to have more more of those things, hey. Like and this boys, they've been trained from 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 school. Yeah, and and food, food, food. yeah, and my fourth point is. Uh, why aren't we seeing players that are trained by the club, like players that come from, like, let's say, a Pirates Academy, not playing for Pirates? Usually, why aren't you ready to play they, for they, Pirates? They, 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 exactly. They let them go, even. They a lot let of them go. They get to a point. They get to yes. a point where they just let them go. When you get to under 18 or 19, most of these players are let go. Why? I get it. Like, not every player that you find or you, you develop is going to be good enough to play for your team. But when was the last time you heard of a player coming from Pirates development? Remember, it was that Menzi Masugu age when, like, uh, Disky, Cha- like Disky Challenge was still playing, like, uh, those under-19 players before they changed it. Remember? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, since then, when was the last time we, we saw new players? When was the last time? That's the thing. Because, They're killing it, right? Because Disky Challenge... Early said it's about Pesitao, Bo Topule Extin, like Bo Menzi Masu. Menzi played well actually today. But anyway, I, I, I don't want to digress. Yeah. But like, I don't want to digress. Like, he, he's coming to himself as a midfielder, has understood his game. He knows what, he, what he's capable of. He knows his limits and he, he played well. So, my problem is with. Uh, why aren't South African like we, we're no longer training out develop like no player is ready to play for how can no player be ready to play for for, for the, the first for team the, for the first like, team in in seven or eight years like for how to, long you, you, imagine you, for how long you, you can't tell me that there's no talent like the talent is there the problem is you guys aren't training them right that's the problem with South African football and fifth and most important is the mental 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 football is mostly played where in mind man like mm-hmm. in order in order for me getting one pass like for me to see a pass that's available or let's say not let's say i'm a defensive midfielder to even break down an attack i need to know where the danger is coming from sniff it out immediately like a dog we, we aren't even producing players that have that dog in them consistently and that can pick a pass like we, we aren't like most South African players right my my uncle you know, Gary, he they, played they, they he, play. my uncle played yeah, carry on, carry on. My, my uncle was a scout for Shana Korn, and he had also played like professionally for like ah, 10 years like 10 or more years man both my uncles played like, play, play for a while man play professional one passed away but the one that's oh, still yeah, alive oh, yeah, yeah. But, but when oh, that's yeah, yeah. yeah but when they're still alive like uh uh they did a study right they're like most South african players fully develop at 27 like we can't be having that like when you have that, that, uh, that's that's late bro that's late it, actually. That, that that's way too late that's why that 
they're never going to be in that elite category. And that reminded me of Mpoma Gola. Like Mpoma Gola really blossomed when? At like 27, 28. Because Mpoma Gola was still rough around the edges. And when he got to 28, he had that grown man knowledge. Like he knew those passes. He knew how to make it tick because he was always good on the ball. But he never, like sometimes he'd release it just late. But when he started 20, 27, 28, like everything started being silky and smooth. But his prime was short. Why? Because he got to his best very late. Like Very late. I can't be getting to Very my... Very late. Yeah, I can't begin to my best like at 27, 28, 29. And then 30, 31, it's over for me. Like it's done. At, a, at, at a big team. So we need to unlock these players. Like what are we doing to train these players wrong mentally, man? But like, yo fam, like we... we like this really needs to be like a pro- like this is a problem for South African football us developing our own players we need to bring back schools football and secondly man Denny Jordan man where's that where's that money that that was supposed to develop these players man from 2010 like, this don like we've got a don that's an that's an ex <laughs> like that's trained to be a teacher and and he's flipping running our football into the ground like this don is just lucky that uh like Safa just makes money because Safa likes football. A lot of people love football. Like this Don is a teacher, is a politician. Why? What the hell are you doing in football, fam? Like, what qualifies you to be a football mandem? Like, you understand? He, he he doesn't like if 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 I were to speak to him about formations, I bet you that man doesn't know anything. Like, if we talked about a low block, like if me and him were to sit and analyze a game, he doesn't know. I tell you, he doesn't know left ass from his right cheek. Why? Because he doesn't know anything about football. Like we need football people at the helm of Safa and to make football decisions in order to make and oh yeah the sixth and most important point like I did research <laughs> okay I can tell I can tell I can tell I can tell you even pointing out points bro <laughs> like the sixth point is like most successful uh, uh, nations they streamline everything like we don't do that in South Africa like PSL. I, yeah, man, do your thing, man. We're suffering. We, we're just going to do our thing. Like the National School of Excellence, that shit is garbage. We need to get that shit way back to it belongs, man. The National School of Excellence, man, that used to produce the best. Like if you went there, like psh, everyone's like, hey, we man, know. you're a serious boy. No. Now it no longer has that. We need to keep such institutions having like it's like harvard man like you ain't going to harvard like if, if you ain't mad smart or like if you ain't really go with your books it, it's like vits like if if you go to vits like mouthful's like yeah, he, like you he, in, in football where's that institution like need bring back really bring back school of excellence you need that to bring what what it used to be okay we get it clubs have their own academies but you guys should also develop players at at an elite level and also streamline everything man make these um make these clubs hire south african coaches make them make like a quota for south african coaches and make some of them younger like make so that if you have younger coaches, you're going to have fresh ideas and they're going to trust new, like younger players. Why? Because they're going to play for them and they're going to groom them properly the way they should be groomed. Like, it's like Julian Nagelsmann. He, he's 33 and, and, and he's running, like he's a genius in the UEFA Champions League at the age of 33. Why? It's because Germany is willing to give people, youngsters a chance. A chance. Yes. A chance. And Red Bull Germany, is doing good, eh? That team, like, it, it, that team plays and beautiful saw, football. Wait, wait, can I can I just say something? Yeah. They beat us with no striker. Almost not a striker. He did what Pep did, man. That, that ain't no new idea, man. Pep did that the last time. You remember, you remember Pep did that the last Dude. time? You remember Pep Dude. did that the last time? But how many people can 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 pull it off? He Pep pulled pull, it off. Bro. Pep pulled it off. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not arguing. He, he I'm saw saying... what Ole was doing. He was like, okay, because I know you, you're dumb and you can't make uh, tactical like uh, switches on the fly. You're, gonna, you're always going to wait till half time till shit is really bad. And that's when you're going to make it. And that's when you're going to react. You yeah, want to see the game. You want to meet the game first. 
he, he knows that Don is an idiot. So, so he, he packs the midfield. So it wasn't a new idea. I was impressed, but I wasn't really impressed because it wasn't a new idea. I've seen it before. I get you. I get you, you feel I get me? You. Like, I was like, yeah, oh, man. I was like, oh, I've seen this before. But anyway, let's get back to, um, okay, like Germany. Yeah, yeah, come back, come back, come back. Remember Germany stunk up the place in the 2006 World Cup, right? After that, they ripped up the whole the whole blueprint, like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, put in players tw- 17, blah, blah, blah. We're going to focus on young coaches. This is the style of football that we're going to play. These are the profile of players that we want. Da, 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 da. You teams have to go out and perform and put these players out and make them perform. What did Germany do in 2014? They won a goddamn World Cup. No, they won a World Cup. Yeah. Only Spain had that dominance, like Euro, World Cup, Euro. Shit. But anyway. (laughs) But anyway. Word, word, bro, word. But but 2014, they went and won. You see, with Spain, they also kind of, they had like a proper, like they had a generation where like, that La Masia Academy produced like a lot because it was what Carles Puyol, Ger- Gerard P. K. That, that's that, that's why you couldn't sp- at the, in those times you couldn't stop Barcelona because that was the squad that was playing in 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 in, in the national team and also in Barcelona. You could you, you could have also just uh, if if you were to mix up, you would mix up with a Real Madrid player. Yes, yeah. Like you had your Sergio the Ramos, is... and then yeah, and then you had your yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fernando Torres coming in from Liverpool yeah. for Ch- from Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, but you also had David Villa from the country and whatnot. But you see now they had already had that winners mentality and they won. And okay, my last point is our league isn't competitive enough, man. Sorry to say it, but the intensity of our league sucks. Like our players sure. aren't fit, aren't fit enough. And that goes back to For diet, sure. man. That goes back to diet, discipline, and ambition. If you if your diet is proper, if you have discipline and you have ambition. Right, these people, these people, they they, they they get they get comfortable, they get comfortable once they get those 40 golf keys, number seven. Once once what yeah. like golf number once seven, they, and they can also, they can to, exactly. Well, you know, when, once they feel comfortable and no hood rich, hood rich, once they become hood rich, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and go to taverns or whatever the places they might it's be, top notch places, yeah, top notch that... places, you know. And then they're comfortable. They're like, okay, I got this. And when they get to a game, they don't, they don't, they don't just like they they play fair enough, you know, for them to say, okay, I'm keeping my spot in the in the team, and I'm still getting paid. Then they 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 they, they yeah. relax. They don't push for greatness. Where is that Zuma? Uh, 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 you know, you know those those guys. Yeah, who, man. Who are they? You know. Well, you know hmm. Those those people were hungry, bro. Those people were hungry. Bongani was hungry, oh. man. He was hungry. Yo. He ended up being at Tottenham. Oh. That man was hungry. He was hungry. That, that guy was hungry. It was grand season. It was a grand season. Grand season. Oh, your Stephen Pinar, bro. Yo, Benny. You man, know, Benny was hungry. Were... Sean Butler, Sean Butler was hungry. That man, that man Benny. scored twenty goals. Benny, 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 oh, man. Benny's Sean's... the only guy. Benny's the only guy that has a UEFA Champions League title. Man, don't forget about Sean. Man, Sean went to England in a crappy Charlton Athletic side and scored 20. 20 goals in the EPL. Tell me how many South African strikers can go now and do that. Tell me how many. Like if you... See, if, if you were to give me pointers about football, I would listen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like no, not a lot of people have done that, dog. Like that, that's leg- legendary shit. Like that, yeah. that is, oh, Ew, dog. But but they, anyways, he he he. Those are the type of people that we should be having as analysts, you know. Nah, but usually ex footballers suck, man. Analyzing the game, man. When I'm telling you, and I heard that. It was a lady that was like, yo, man, uh, it was because Orlando Pirates all this time was playing short ball, and this time they punted it up, and then now that's how they surprised uh, Celtics, and then they scored. It's like, what the fuck? Man? You just saw that from the time just made a mistake, right? She just really just skipped over it, and she, and she acted like Pirates. Like, that ball was just punted straight. 
you know when a ball is just hit straight up like with the like that ball was aimed at Lepasa so that like maybe he could hit it and then someone could get the scraps like but it missed him as well like it, 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 like that ball wasn't intentional man like it just missed its intended target you know when you're putting a ball in an area and you're hoping it does something and it actually does something you know sometimes you just mm-hmm. that's just what happened yeah uh, hail mary like eh, so man that's why i'm saying man some of these analysts are crap man but in anyway, <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. Not that they crap, but th- like they they miss some of, like they miss very important like details. Like when I watch f- football, like when I was even watching like the Chiefs match, man, I watched it in detail, and whatever they told me, like I I already saw that, man. Like and I saw a bit more than what they saw. Imagine everyone's like, ah, it's my toes for. It's the right back spot. Like you have to tell me that there's someone behind me. I get it. The kid is young and whatnot. You gotta tell me. But anyway, but man. he's been playing. He's been playing. He's. He, I'm sure yeah. he's. He's come across those situations in games where he's from. You know. Yes. No. In most cases, the situations don't come. They don't come for the first time in your life. You've seen that before. You know. For the fact that you've made it that far, it means that you've they've seen you go through those things, so they know. You know these things. They yeah, need fam. to call them out. Yeah, fam. You need to call them out. Yeah. Very, very important. Very important. Big man thing. Yeah, fam. Exactly. Yeah, fam. It's, exactly. Been, it's been great having you. Hopefully, like, we got to do this. man. Away. We got to do this. Away, again. We, can, we can move it. You must move it, John. I, I actually liked it. I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually pay attention to a lot of games now, you know, and have more, you know, point My, to point on it. I think. Yeah. Did you watch the derby, the Manchester derby? Yeah, yeah it was uh, wacky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> when you stuck up the plates, that was the first time <laughs> I, I actually saw it. Like, like Pep didn't go for it, and we know the clown that we have as a coach. It, that dude ain't really doing anything. So I, yes, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> The one just, thing that uh, was just crazy. The, the one thing that I was sad there. about was yesterday I slept and Leeds were playing, man. I watched the first half and I missed the second half. Man, Leeds play beautiful people, football, people, man. People Bielsa, hungry, man. Bro. Man, Bielsa, that bro, Bielsa hungry. ball. And that Grand Potter. Grand Potter uh, is doing hungry. something with Brighton, man. And Brighton wants uh, Pessy to come back because, man, if they add Pessy, Pessy has that that killer. He can put in that killer pass and those runs that he makes. Pff, imagine him in a Brighton T-shirt. Uh, that's madness. It, that, that, but yeah, did you, you see? see it. Did Did you check that we uh, there's this kid Le Chabelle on Leicester's uh, nah, under twenty nah. three. Man, you should check oh, him yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Also, also this this boy, what's his name? Um, I think it was Prince or something. Oh, la, la. It's Prince. Same, same team, Leicester. Nah, but now I'm talking about this kid. This kid from South Africa. Hey, it's from it's from the hood, hey. Eh? Like hey. from South Africa. Hey man, the thing is, we have talent. We need to do. Better with the talent that we have. That's you, all I've got you, to you say. To like, right. yo, man, Danny Jordan, man, do better, man. Did you see what they did with the rugby? The rugby team was crap two years before a World Cup. They go to a World Cup and they come back with the World Cup. In two years, in two years, Doc, give give them. Uh, we don't want to pull out the race card, but yeah. <laughs> give Safa uh, no like I'm being honest like yo man give but, uh, give those white dudes the reins let's see what they do in four in four years like like we can find ourselves in like nah, the thing is nah, with, nah, with like, them if we, we give them we, the reins it might take them like five or ten years to actually see like the the fruits of their labor because they're gonna start this shit from 
ground floor up like they're gonna really really build it because the thing is danny jordan like all that fifa like remember like after um like you host the world cup like right they give you guys money like after you've hosted it and that i give their profits to be shared that then they give you guys money mm. where did that money mm. go where did that money Nobody go knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. We know, knows. man. It's South Ab, man. But anyway, we ain't trying yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> Corruption. That's where it went, man. Corruption, man. No I was about to say, Yuri. I was about to say, Yuri. Uh, whether you like it or not, we blacks, bro. You know. It's not a race thing, man. It's a cultural thing, man. Like. Yeah, exactly. Man, even yeah. the white people. Had, and everything. Even the white people had corruption. But the thing is, they had sort of to to some extent smart, uh, smart no a progressive corruption right <laughs> i'm telling you like if if like let's say i give you money to build like 10 bridges you go and build nine yeah yeah I yeah, yeah. And Islam, Islam the one it's proper yeah no and and i give you chele de o adi bridge say say 10 or say 12 when a or good guy and you get all of the rtp say say 300 to say 400 how i the rtp i the toilet come gone catch a little how i won but anyways yeah fam the topic for it's a, it's a topic for another day I, I wasn't even really trying to be political, but Danny Jordan, fam, like, fam, I'm coming for you each and every day on this show until you fix my <laughs> national team, fam. Just joking, like, <laughs> no, like seriously. Now we need to get the word if, out there. Exactly. Like, yo, every, every, like, yo, every, almost every episode that I do on South African football, I'm coming for Danny Jordan. Like, he ain't safe. He ain't safe for me, man. Every day, like he has to get that slot. Like people need to know that he's missing. Like even the coach he picked, man, he he can't even stick to a plan. He said he was gonna stick with Shakes, right? And Shakes wasn't willing to dance to his tune. Like, ah, eh, man, man, eh, fuck you. And now, how many under twenty threes? Like, do you see the under twenty three coach now being close to uh, the Safa setup? No. So they've actually diverted from 2022. I just knew it wasn't going to happen. Danny Jordan, fam, you ain't safe. Accountability is what we need. Anyway. You need to tell us what's going on. You need to tell yeah, us what's yeah. going on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sharp boss. Thanks, fam. Thanks. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks, for thanks, 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 for, thanks, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, cool, fam. Oh, yeah, bro. Appreciate yeah. it.